all right so what's up guys and we finally have it here we have in the house today the belkin iphone mount that was a very 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 much awaited um video as you can see ups just sent me an email it was just delivered i went down i got it i set everything up and yeah in this video we'll be taking a look at the mount itself and how it is with the uh how it works with macbook and with mac os ventura so all right so we'll have to first unbox this so as you can see i tear it apart there we go and i'll quickly take the mount out all right so nothing else in the box that's all you get so yeah as you can see this here is the mount itself so as you can see on the front here it says iphone mount with magsafe for mac notebooks support magsafe for iphone and mac and on the back here as you can see we have a few instructions it says mount your iphone securely onto your mac notebook to utilize continuity camera feature in the latest version of mac os for facetime capture content video conferencing and more all right so yeah i mean i recently bought a webcam but i was very much waiting for this product to launch but yeah we'll just quickly take this thing off and let's see how it is all right so there we go and damn okay so when we unbox this uh, it gives us a few a few features on how to use it so just quickly take it outside damn to be very honest packaging doesn't feel that good um I'm just being honest here um it is no apple level packaging but again it's belkin so we wouldn't have to blame them for this so damn this is the mount itself i'll keep this aside again it's wrapped in plastic this this feels like apple but <laughs> other than that uh, nothing feels like apple and damn there we go as you can see this is the mount here and okay so I'll take my iPhone first real quick and I don't know which is the right way but I'll just quickly slap it this way and as you can see it fits really really well and it is actually as you can see it it doesn't move that much which is a good thing so the magnets here are good but again as you can see snap and if I just take this out you get sort of a uh, a pop socket basically to hold your phone so uh, you won't actually drop your phone when you have this on your phone the only thing is it keeps moving for some reason but that shouldn't be a problem when you have it hooked on the macbook or or your mac itself so right now i have my mac connected with my audio system so i wouldn't be able to show you guys how it actually works right now but we'll quickly switch the camera angles and I'll show you guys how it is and how you should actually use it with your Mac. And just FYI, it may worsen the audio quality. Not sure, but we'll see how it works. All right, so as you can see, this here is my MacBook Pro and this is the Belkin mount. So what you do now you, is you take your iPhone, whichever iPhone it is, this mount will work with um, iPhone 12 and above. And also you have to have Mac OS Ventura on your uh, MacBook itself. So for it to work, for, for the continuity to work. So once you're done, all you do is hook your hook the mount on your iPhone like this. As you can see, this part should be down. And once it is, and once you have it, you just put it up and you just prop your iPhone on the MacBook here like this. All right, so once you have it hooked, all you do is open the FaceTime app here and I think it will automatically switch to um, the iPhone itself. So I don't think you have to do anything. It will automatically switch to whichever device you have connected on your uh, MacBook itself. Please don't mind me. I just woke up a couple of minutes back. Uh, so I look terrible. Um, so, so one good thing about this is it automatically switches to the iPhone itself. So you don't have to do anything for it. All it does is automatically switch itself to the iPhone that you have connected on your MacBook. So a few features I wanted to show about this is once you go here on the top, you get a few features here. So you get your, your mic mode, which is the basic and normal feature that everyone has. But then you also have video effects. And in that you can choose different options like center stage, portrait, studio light. 
So center stage actually will use your wide angle camera, which is the ultra wide angle camera. And it will basically um, keep you in the center of the frame so that you don't go outside of the frame. Portrait is just the regular mode that um, everyone gets with the FaceTime itself. And then desk view is basically will use your ultra wide angle camera. Um, doesn't work that good right now. Um, I'll just quickly show you how it works, how it looks. As you can see, this here is my hand and it doesn't work that good right now. Um, but, oh, you can zoom in or zoom out if you want. But then again, it isn't that optimized right now for the ultra wide angle camera. So another thing I'll show you guys real quick is the center stage. As you can see, as I go outside of the frame, it basically keeps me in the frame. As you can see, it moves uh, the camera itself. So that's a, that's a good thing as well. So yeah, I mean, that is pretty much it for this video. This was all about the Belkin uh, mount for the iPhone itself. The Belkin MagSafe mount for the iPhone. Um, yeah, again, as you can see, it connects to my 14 Pro. No problems. It also connects to my 13 Pro. No issues because, again, both have MagSafe and... It works with any device that has MagSafe in it. So you don't have to worry about that. So yeah, I mean, that is pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions regarding the mount itself, uh, put them down in the comment section and I'll be happy to reply to you guys uh, if you have any questions on it. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.